Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload from me. Seven waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. Drinks in our beers up anywhere you want to go, baby. You just let me know. Sunny Indonesia, don't say no. Sipping on tequila, anything you want to see, be there in a heartbeat. Just say the words and we can go. Hey guys, welcome back to part two of this complete disaster clean with me. If you haven't seen part one, be sure to check it out. You'll see the huge transformation of the kitchen and living room. Part two is also full of cleaning motivation. So here I'm just folding all the laundry. The clothes were piling up and before it got any worse, I just wanted to go ahead and knock it out and get everything nice and clean. And also I will be putting all the kids clothes away. Usually I have less loads to wash, but it was Christmas week. I was so busy with everything else that the loads started to pile up. It's after Christmas, so now I have time to catch up on all the laundry and I get to tackle my to-do list, which I've been pushing back. There is nothing. 
This night was movie night, which we do once a week, which I had to skip. So while the boys are enjoying their movie and popcorn, this mama bear right here was busy working and making sure everyone had clean clothes to wear. I definitely had a lot to fold, but based on the amount of loads I've had in the past, I am not complaining.
As of lately, I have been using the Fowling method of folding clothes, which I have to say it is definitely a face saver, which is also known as the KonMori method. Not only that, but it makes everything look a lot neater. However, I do have to start color coordinating everything. Majority of their Christmas gifts are educational and I love this first words match it game. It's perfect for them to do. It allows the kids to be familiar with not just the image but the word as well. And I think it is perfect for teaching toddlers. I like to keep their diaper basket fully stocked with their everyday and night diapers. The oldest one is two years old and he's currently potty training. From what I'm seeing, it works best when he doesn't have any diaper on. We are constantly asking him, where do you pee, where do you poo? And he would say, toilet. It's just a reminder to him so when he needs to go, he doesn't pee or poo on the floor. And remember to go to the toilet. Majority of the time he gets it right, but sometimes there is a hit and miss. So when it comes to potty training toddlers, it does come with the territory. But for our son, we see it work best when he doesn't have any diapers on. Burning the bridge that keeps us I'm here and I'm feeling we are planning on putting some toys away and rotating them possibly every three months. We've talked about it and are in agreement, so we have to figure out which toys we want to put away for the first three months first. This is great not just to learn colors, but for counting and learning basic math. So this is perfect for kids. Thank you. 
Our multi-purpose room has a little bit of everything. It's a kids playroom, an office, TV area, where we keep all of our books. It's just everything in one. We don't have space for it all, so this is the room that has it all. And that's the reason why I like to call it our multi-purpose room because it has everything. Part of this area will be the new kitchen, so we have to find new homes for everything. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and I thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye.